Hey everyone, Nick Walsh here from LiveX, and today we are going to unbox the UHD 6G 200 camera by Ada. Now, they have a 3G camera in the past in this form factor, but this is their first 6G camera, which means you could get up to 2160p, 30 frames a second. Uh, the next step up, of course, will be 12G, uh, which will get you the 60 frames, but this will do pretty much anything you need it to do for right now. So let's take a look inside. And take off the lid here and see everything inside. Looks like this guy fell out. Um, yeah, let's see what's in here. We got AC power and adapters, so any European or international adapters can use that. It comes with an Edison over here. So this is how you'll actually plug the camera in. Get a nice uh, gel silica, don't eat it. Uh, USB mini for any firmware updates and stuff like that. Got, <laughs> this is the tiniest Allen key I've ever, ever seen. It's so thin, I feel like I'm gonna break it, but I guess this is to get inside the actual camera itself. Uh, but yeah, this is so, I don't even know if this is gonna show up on camera, but this is, this is so, so small. <laughs> I'll put that over there. Um, here's the camera itself, we'll check that out in a minute. And then we got the actual cable. I've noticed a lot of these form factor cameras, uh, these small form factor cameras are gonna have these breakout cables so you don't have too many IO points on the camera. So it will just put it in one and then break it out over here. It could kind of get annoying if you just need power, uh, like the Micro Studio has a million things, um, when a lot of times you just need to plug in power. Um, but it makes sense if you want a camera that small. So let's get this box out of the way. And let's take a look at the camera. So we got here, is um, this small crash cam has a, like the just the bare minimum I/O here. We have SDI here, the I/O cable for the breakout cable, which we'll look at in a sec. Um, and then this iris, I was checking it out online and I didn't see exactly how that works or what it does, but I imagine it's for some remote control of the iris. I believe you could do everything on the OSD itself, so you shouldn't need it, but if you do want to remote access it, I'm not sure what kind of cable that is, so I'll have to look into that. Um, and see what that does. On the side here, you have USB for USB mini connections. There is a, looks like quarter 20 screw on the top here for mounting it, uh, so you could throw it on a stand. Oh yeah, that's on the bottom too, so you have, you have options if you need to flip it. A USB on the side, and the lens here, this little tiny baby lens, it uses a C or CS mount lenses. This one that it comes with is a 3.2 millimeter, 12 megapixel lens. The sensor inside here is a one, uh, two and a half inch, CMOS sensor, so it's gonna be pretty great. They claim that it works really well in low light, so I'd love to check that out. So yeah, let's look over here. We could even remove the lens, so any C or CS lens, you just unscrew this guy here, and then unscrew the lens itself. So if you have any other C or CS lenses that you prefer, you could use that instead. So let's take a look at that sensor. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's check it out up here. Yeah, so really, really tiny, so uh, it does its job. I could definitely imagine use cases for this, for that sweet POV, uh, like fisheye camera in a car or in some sports stuff. If you want it like in NASCAR, I can imagine throwing it in one of those cars. So yeah, I could see this being very, very versatile, especially just like looking at the small factor. If you do like, you know, like one of those reality shows with like hidden camera things, I feel like this would be perfect for it. So let's take a look out at the breakout cable. Uh, so there's really only two things you gotta worry about here. Um, so this will screw in to the back of it. There's like a six pin cable here. And then this is where you'll plug in your power. And then this guy, which I, I'm a huge fan of, is a joystick for the OSD. Um, one of the annoying parts about the Micro Studio, as great of a camera as it is, is the fact that you need to plug in an HDMI monitor in order to use the OSD. Uh, sometimes you just don't wanna have to worry about HDMI in your workflow, so uh, this actually lets you control the OSD directly through this joystick. So that way well, you just set up your camera, lock in the settings, and then walk away. You don't need to worry about plugging in a monitor. It works over R485, so if you need to extend it and use it over a remote controller or a PTZ controller, you could hook it up to that. Um, so that's the breakout. So yeah, you'll plug it into this and then plug in your power to this guy, and there you go. So this is it, this tiny camera shoots 4K. While we're taping this right now, it's not out yet, but it's gonna come out very, very soon. Uh, so I can't wait to check it out and see how it works in all the different lighting scenarios. So 
Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is Nick Walsh at LiveX. If you want to check out more of our unboxing videos, you could go to our YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter at LiveX Production and see all the unboxings we do. Uh, we do a lot of Ada products. We've done their other cameras and their converters as well. So if you're interested in their product line, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.